Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Virginia. Today, you're going to learn the what and the how of answering past tense questions negatively with irregular verbs. Let's start with what. What are these answers and statements used for? They can be used to talk about completed actions in the past or past facts. For example, I didn't lie down. Good. Now let's learn how. How do you use these answers and statements? First, know how to conjugate irregular verbs. If you want to talk about yourself, please repeat. No, I did not. Good. Native speakers usually use contractions when speaking fluently. Let's practice the contraction as well. Please repeat. No, I didn't. If you want to talk about me, no, you did not. Once more, using a contraction, no, you didn't. If you want to talk about a man, for example, Edward, no, he did not. Once more, using a contraction. No, he didn't. If you want to talk about a woman, for example, Caroline. No, she did not. Once more, using a contraction. No, she didn't. If you want to talk about you and me. No, we did not. Once more, using a contraction. No, we didn't. If you want to talk about other people, no, they did not. Once more, using a contraction. No, they didn't. We'll use the contractions during the practice video. It's very important to memorize this conjugation fluently before you start practicing video B. Next, you need to study your vocabulary to know a variety of verbs. For example, I didn't fly, break the computer, choose an outfit. Excellent! We'll practice these examples and more in video B. Now, let's review. First, what are answers and statements with past tense irregular verbs used for? They can be used to talk about completed actions in the past or past facts. Second, how do you use these answers and statements? You use them by knowing the conjugation of irregular verbs and building a more specific answer with the vocabulary. Well done! Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own answers. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Virginia. See you next time.